Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Jody here. And today we're going to react to somebody new to us who we saw on Taskmaster, and it is... Brady, comma, Fern, as it would be on an attendance roster. We're reacting to Fern Brady. Thanks for dealing with him. That's what I just said. And we're reacting to her little skit, Heterosexual Marriages. Controversial. Very controversial. And you guys can't see it, but while this video's paused, she's standing in front of the R and you can't see the Y, so it's telling us she's bad. <laughs> Hopefully she's not. But we enjoyed her so far on this two parts, two Taskmaster, three Taskmaster parts that we reacted to. And people in the comment section gave glowing reviews about how funny she is. So we're going to go ahead and check her out. If you like her reaction to her bit, heterosexual marriages, echo in here, please don't forget to... Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next uploaded video. You know, Nick, my ear hurts. I'm wondering if I'm getting an ear infection. If your ear, ear hurts, you should say, out my ear. Out my ear. Makes it feel better. I'll see you, Chris. Here we go. Hello. Bad. So, Australia voted on gay marriage. I was surprised because a lot of them were very vocally opposed to it. And what I love is every time the debate comes up, I love when homophobes have to make up fictional reasons to justify their homophobia. Because no one can ever say the actual reason they're homophobic, which is, I really want to try gay sex. <laughs> So you have to make up pretend reasons for it, like, we can't have gay marriage in Australia because it would ruin the definition of traditional marriage. Fine, but straight people ruin the definition of traditional marriage <laughs> every day. My father redefined traditional marriage when he married Julie from Milton Keynes, who isn't my mum. <laughs> And I'd rather watch a line of men bumming each other aggressively till the end of time <laughs> or listen to lesbians talking about horoscopes as if they're real than be a bridesmaid at that horror show again. <laughs> Marriage died for Ouch. me that day. Then if you're a bit more confident in your homophobia, as Australians were, you'll say stuff like, I don't want gay marriage because I think it looks stupid to have a man and a man stood at the altar. I don't like it. Well. If I was allowed to legalise against every couple that disgusted me willy-nilly in the street, <laughs> we would be here all day. <laughs> I was always disgusted, and I mean this, genuinely disgusted by couples, I would say, where the woman is significantly taller than the man. <laughs> I hate tally smally couples. <laughs> It's taboo for a Scottish person to say this, where I get off the train there and I feel like I'm in Gulliver's Travels. <laughs> I don't like them, I think they look stupid together. I think it's against nature and God's wish for us as a species. It's a hard hitter. Like a hypocrite, I now go out with a tiny little Irish man. <laughs> He's tit height, shoulder height when he wears his wee walking boots. <laughs> and I know we look stupid together. I know that when we're out in public, people think I'm taking my young son out for a walk. <laughs> I know I'm a pervert, but I love that little guy. <laughs> love is love. I love this wee boy loads. I miss him so much when I go boy. away to do gigs. I came home the other day, I opened the door to him. I couldn't help it, man. I picked him up and I spun him round in there. <laughs> His little legs went flying. <laughs> I love him loads. Some nights I love him so much that I'll stare into his sleeping face and I'll picture how sad I'd be if he died. <laughs> I love doing that. That's what true love is. It's not sexual jealousy or shared Facebook profiles. Who are those psychopaths? <laughs> it's just looking into someone's sleeping face and thinking, I hope I die before you. <laughs> so I'll stare at his face, I'll picture him dying, and then I picture the amazing weight loss that grief would bring. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that elegant widow? That's me. That's me. And I get this thing called intrusive thoughts, where I have thoughts I don't want my brain to have. So a lot of people get this, where they're standing at a busy train station and part of their brain goes, what if you jumped in front of that train just now? <laughs> I can see someone in the audience saying they get them. It's a way anxious brains overcompensate to stop you having accidents. I get creative ones because I'm an artist. So sometimes I'll see a cute baby in a buggy and part of my brain goes, well, that's a lovely baby. Then the other part goes, 
Yeah, but what if for no reason at all you booted that baby out of his body? <laughs> and it went flying like a ragdoll. <laughs> Into the sunset. <laughs> now, the more I love my boyfriend, the more I get these thoughts, right? Because I don't want anything to ever hurt him, but some nights I'll be stroking his sleeping face. <laughs> and then my brain goes, what if your thumbs just slipped down to his eyeballs? <laughs> oh, it's bright. Do you know the nice? Do you know the nice thing about being in a long-term relationship is sometimes he'll open his eyes and go, "Are you thinking about pushing your thumbs into my eyes again?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go back to sleep. <laughs> no. No. They don't have that in that Match.com advert. <laughs> Mash.com, love your imperfections. It's always a woman being clumsy in a cute way, never... Sometimes I think about pushing my thumbs in his eyes! <laughs> and he still loves me. <laughs> I get these thoughts all the time. Sometimes when we're cooking together, I'll take a knife out the drawer and look at him and put the knife back in the drawer. Oh, my God! And he goes, oh, Fern, <laughs> you're so mad! <laughs> We're a completely normal, traditional, heterosexual couple, just like the homophobes want it. <laughs> I've been Fern Brady, you've been amazing. Good night. Oh my gosh. That was genius. Oh my gosh. That was really, really creative. Yep. And I like how she tied it back yes. around. Because I was thinking, I was like, okay, so that was just like the first bit. Now she's talking about her relationship. And it was still a good segue to talk about her relationship and this or that. But she tied in so perfectly together. She played that like, Crazy Super lady. dark, yes. psychopathic, <laughs> wannabe serial killer. Like, she's like, it's just thoughts that we have, right? Are you thinking about poking my eyes again? Yes, go back to sleep. <laughs> Here's a knife. Let me put it back now. Oh, you're so silly. <laughs> I'm curious, because I get that's a joke. I'm curious if she really does have a shorter boyfriend. Because when she first right. talked about it, I was like, oh my gosh. I like, know. I know lots of people, or I've seen lots of people, I should say, that the woman is taller, and I'm like, <laughs> that disgusts you? But then it makes sense. You know, it doesn't disgust me. It will catch my attention, I'll admit. It does, but it doesn't disgust me. But for me, I prefer somebody taller. But again, again, I'm so short that it would be kind of odd if somebody's like, hi, I'm five foot one, five foot one too. And I'm like, oh. But, um... But I will say that I was watching this reality show and this couple got together and she is slightly taller than him. And I was like, oh. And it was like a love is blind. It's love is blind. Love is blind. So they didn't see each other. I'm like, oh, I wonder if they don't like that. Like now that they've met, if they don't like that she's taller than him. Well, it's funny. Like that thing. I'll never forget the Saved by the Bell episode because Jesse Spano, she's always really tall. Yes. And there's one where they're trying to set up with a blind date and she meets this guy sitting down. Like he's sitting at the restaurant. So she meets him there. <gasps> yep. And mm -hmm. she has a great time. She finally finds someone that she's compatible with. And then they get up and he says, okay, I'll see you at the dance. And she's like six inches taller. And she just can't overcome it. She can't overcome it. And so that's always been in my head. Like, okay, that's, that's got to be something wrong. And for someone <clears throat> who doesn't consider himself to be too tall, 5'9", before I started shrinking, um, I was like, oh, man, that sucks. Like, it limited my scope of possibility because there's always going to be people thinking, like, oh, that sucks for her. He's too short. Like, I can't control it. But, yeah, really, like, what's the big deal? I don't know. It's a big deal, Nick. I think all the time it sucks for me that you're so short. Mm -hmm. I almost didn't marry you because you're right. <laughs> oh, really? That was the reason? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm doing really good today. If you like our reaction to this in any way, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like just reacting to Fern Bray, suggest some other videos for us to react to. Did I just you chose Fern Bray. Fern Brady. I just talk too fast. My my intellect is just a little too quick. Fern Gully like that movie. Fern Brady. Well, that's Fern what I always think about. But if you want us to react to more bits from her, give us some requests. I just chose this one randomly. If you like our reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. Said it already. And until next time. Goodbye.